Alrighty, Libras, this is going to be your reading. This is going to be a special reading. This is going to be different than my weeklies. We're going to see whether or not it's really over between you or the person that you may be thinking about at the moment or who you may have recently split with. Um, and yeah, it's just going to be strictly love. We're going to look at what's going on with you and the person, whether or not there is a high possibility that you guys will reconcile with my romance angel cards. And then we're going to go ahead and do a 14 card spread to see more in depth. And this is not going to be for any set time frame because there is time added into the spread. So you'll see what I mean when I do it. But um, thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. If you are a new subscriber, welcome. If you are somebody who is already a returning subscriber, welcome back. And yeah, let's get into it. If you need your own personal booking because you have personal concerns or you just want to make sure that you definitely um, know what's going on with your situation, make sure that you guys hit... What? Hit me up. My email will be listed below. And let's just get straight into the reading. So this is Libras. Let me pull up my spread again. Okay. So is it really over between my Libras and the person that they were last dealing with or the person that they are currently thinking about? Is it really over between my Libras and their ex-partner, their last ex-partner, and the person that they may be inquiring about at this moment. Is it really over between them? Okay, so we have two cards that just flew out. We have forgiving and learning and give your relationship a chance. And then bottom of the deck, we do have unrequited love. I'm going to pull one more. And then we have pay attention to the red flags. I knew I had to pull another one. Okay. Okay, so what I just heard, I don't think that it's over. And the reason why I don't think it's over is because I feel like you guys are not new to this. Some of you guys keep taking back somebody who's not shit, okay? That's for some of you guys. I'm not going to uh, say that, you know, all of the people that you guys are dealing with are not shit. But for some of you guys, you know what I'm talking about. Um, some of you guys also, it could be a situation where... You want to give this relationship a chance, but you have to keep forgiving this person for whatever they did to you in the past. And you keep ignoring red flags for some of you guys, okay? But um, you really do need to make sure that you're looking at everything that's going on because you may be caring way more about this person than they are for you. And you do need to make sure that you're putting your self-respect first within a connection here, okay? And it could be vice versa. This person could be feeling that way about you. Um, however, it's working out, but somebody keeps having to forgive somebody. If it's not that, it could be a situation where um, somebody just keep trying to act like the red flags are not there, but they're there. And you keep trying to forgive this person and give it a chance, but it's not equal. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what's going on with this spread, guys. Make sure you like this video if it resonates and let's get to it. So what is my Libra's last partner or person in question? What are their thoughts when it comes to my Libra's? What are their current thoughts when it comes to my Libra's? What are their current thoughts about my Libra's? And we do have the lover's card clarified by the Ace of Cups. So this person is having to make some major choices or they feel as if you need to make some choices when it comes to either two people that you're dealing with. Um... When it comes to love, like picking who you're going to offer your love to, for some of you guys, it could be, you know, them trying to make a decision, but somebody's having to make some head over heart decisions when it comes to a new relationship. Somebody's trying to start some emotional opportunity that's coming in. Yeah, but I feel like somebody, <laughs> this person also could feel as if you're playing some sort of mind games, that you're playing mind games with them and that you may have two choices. That's why you're kind of stalling for some of you guys. That's what I heard. But um, they definitely want to like work this situation out with you and get the happiness that they know that they can get with you. Okay. Um... Why is this relationship or this connection that my Libras recently split up from or the person that they're thinking about currently, why is it not working? Why is this connection not panning out 
for my Libras and their last partner or the person that they're thinking about. So we do have the three of cups clarified by the nine of wands in reverse. So I feel as if, let me pull one more. Okay. So what I'm seeing here, I feel like somebody is just good with being like single. Some of you guys, somebody could be like good with being single for others of you it could be a situation where you try to reconcile with somebody again basically what i said at the beginning you try to reconcile with somebody before um who like kind of did some shady things to you and you realize that you can't keep doing this so some of you guys are like really being defensive or this person's being defensive towards you However, it's working out. So somebody reconciled with somebody, but is realizing that they can't go forward anymore. Like it, they just can't go forward. Um, and somebody's just really putting on their guard. Okay. And they made like the final decision to do so. That's for somebody out there. But um, what does this person want from my Libras? My Libras ex-partner... Or the person that they're thinking about currently. What do they truly want from my Libras? What do they truly want from them? So we do have the Seven of Cups clarified by the King of Cups. So this person is very confused by you. They feel like you, for one, don't really know how to make up your mind. <laughs> you don't know how to make up your mind when it comes to like what you want to do with them. Like, Yes, they may have cheated with you, like cheated, cheated with you. They may have cheated with you also, but they may have cheated on you and they may be confused about like whether or not you're going to take them back or not. Also, for some of you guys, this person feels like you may have a lot of options and they kind of want you to be emotionally there. Especially if you're dealing with an air sign, water sign, whoever. But this person wants you to emotionally like show them that you care about them instead of being so detached so that you guys can start something and it actually can go somewhere. Okay. But yeah, I feel like they're ending the situation trying to turn their back because again, there's like in and out passion. It's not constant. Okay, so what is this person willing to do to make this relationship work? What is this person willing to do to make this relationship or situation work? So we do have the page of swords clarified by the nine of pentacles. I really feel like this person wants more information from you more than anything. I feel like if they, they can't get the information that they need from you, or if you guys keep having these weird arguments, like really nasty arguments, this person's going to focus on their finances and just be okay with being single. Um, Yeah. And manifest more finances for themselves. Um What is this? Okay, what do my Libras and the person that they are dealing with, what do they need to do to fix this romance? What do they need to do? The person that my Libras last dealt with, who they last broke up with, or the person in question that my Libras are worried about? What is something that they can do to fix this romance? So I do have the five of wands clarified by the strength card. So I feel like there's way too many people in this connection and somebody needs to also, let me say this. There's also a lot of arguments, like arguments that can kind of be stopped. So you guys need to work on the way that you communicate and actually move slow with this connection. And somebody actually needs to make up their mind. Somebody's not making up their mind when it comes to getting into a commitment. They're too in their head and they're trying to be too in control and it's just causing a huge burden. Okay, so how will communication continue to be with my Libras and the person that they are currently dealing with? How will communication be with my Libras and the person that they were last dealing with their ex or the person in question? How will communication be? be so i do have the empress clarified by the king of swords i'm going to clarify it again and then i have the hermit so
there's a lot of people here <laughs> yeah there's a lot of people here um there will be an opportunity to expand though make the situation grow but somebody that somebody meaning you you need to be truthful with yourself about some things and you need to go within about whether or not you're going to be successful with this person especially if they have kids Okay, if that is an issue, if they do have a family, you need to make sure that you're looking at that and if that's going to be an issue in the future, okay? Um, and if you have a family on your own without the person, that's going to be an issue. So is there another person on my Libra's ex-persons or the person that they're thinking about? Is there another person on their mind? So, ooh, okay, so I have the two of wands clarified by the devil card. They're at a crossroads. I mean, they're sick and tired of the toxic shit. They feel like you have awesome sex, though. I have to mention it whenever I hear things. But they feel like the sex is good, but it could be tying them down to the situation. And they don't want to be tied down to a situation, um, especially if they have kids, okay? Or if they're really trying to make something of themselves. Um... But yeah, they're, they're sick and tired of the toxic behaviors. It could be a Capricorn on their mind and also a family situation. But um, yeah, I'm just seeing where they're having issues with kind of wanting to kind of step out there. Especially if you're dealing with the earth sign. Okay, so will my Libras be happy if this person returns? Will my Libras be happy if this person returns? Will they get the happiness that they're seeking if this person returns? So I do have the sun card. That's good. I'm going to clarify. We have the sun card clarified by the judgment. So I feel like you guys would be very happy if this person comes back, especially if it's an earth sign. But again, you need to make sure that you're taking some time to think about some things because this foundation is not stable. Lordness, it's not stable. You got to figure it out. <laughs> Come on, Libras. Uh, should my Libras move on from their ex-partner or the person that they're thinking about currently? Should they move on from this person? Should they move on from this person? And we have the King of Wands clarified by the Seven of Cups. So I feel like you guys are dealing with somebody who could be... Who has a lot of options. I feel like, and if it's you guys who have a lot of options, you need to make up your mind. You need to make sure that you're dealing with somebody who's going to provide that passion and that love that you need and not confusing energy and that you're not just tied to somebody because of sex or just because, you know, you're codependent on them. Also, you need to make sure that you're not overindulging or you're not dealing with people who are overindulgent. All right. But yeah, somebody needs to definitely make up their mind. If it's you, you need to make up your mind. If it's the other person, you need to leave this person out because you may be wasting your own time. OK. Will this person return in the near future to my Libras, my Libras ex partner or the person in question? Will they return in the near future? I say the next three months. Are they going to return in the next three months? So I do have the seven of wands clarified by the six of wands. So this person may be super defensive, focused on their success. Yeah, especially if you're dealing with the fire sign. Um, you do need to use your intuition with this because this person is going to continue to juggle um, even if they do extend an opportunity. Yeah, and I feel like if you were to extend one to them, they would not be able to move past what happened in the past or you're not going to be able to. OK, so keep that in mind. So what's going to be the outcome between my Libras and the person in question or their ex partner? What is going to be the total outcome? And I do have the full card clarified by the king of cups. So some of you guys are going to take a leap of faith with the situation and offer your emotions. Try to show that you care. But somebody's still emotionally immature. OK, there is a problem when you have a king of cups and then you do have the page of cups. One person's emotionally mature and the other person is not. OK, one person can't keep their emotions together. One person can really hold it together. OK, but um, I am seeing that somebody is going to be left out in the cold here because somebody is still too scared and the arguments like you guys got to watch your mouth or whoever you're dealing with needs to watch their mouth with how they communicate okay 
Um, but what is the final advice when it comes to this love situation between my Libras and the person that they're inquiring about? What is the advice? And we have the temperance card clarified by the five of cups. So you guys need to gain balance. You guys need to transmute all this negative energy and work with it the best way you can and try to really gain balance within your emotions, making sure that you're not going off on people. <laughs> Okay, um, and getting out of this energy of being super sad about how situations played out to the point where you can't even move forward and see the great blessings that may be behind you. Okay, yeah, because there may be like a whole foundation or a new relationship that may come into play. You just need to get over what happened in the past and try to move past it. Okay, especially if you are dealing with a Taurus. So that's what I'm seeing for my Libras. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I really hope that this reading gave you some sort of insight with your situation. Again, if you do need a personal reading or if you'd like to check out any of my other content, like my extended readings or joining my tarot group, everything that you need will be listed below. And I will see you beautiful Libras later. Bye, guys.